Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Hey everybody, listen, I forgot to make a video for today, Tuesdays, the 25th, so I'm going to do it right now. Just jumped out of bed, got a um, uh, bed head, so i got to wear this hat, and then, um, sorry, here it goes, sorry it's late. Hey everybody, gosh, I forgot to make a video for today, I can't believe it, today's Tuesday the 25th of uh, May, and um, so here it is, I'm going to do a three card oracle that you picked today. So I'm going to use this numerology deck to uh, do the oracle cards. So those will be one, two, or three. And then the Rider weight cards, uh, Radiant, uh, for the uh, divination. Wow. So we'll get this part done. I'm going to try to get in a quick meditation while we're doing this. First time I've done that. So I'm just going to call my brain. Ask for guidance. see we can't get a meaningful draw for all of you today so these numerology cards give you a phrase for the day they have a color for the chakra and then we have a number for numerology not my strong suit but uh, we'll see how that goes three cards one two and three Okay, so choose a card, decide which one works for you. One, two, three. One, two, three. Remember, you can stop the tape. One, two, three. Okay, if you chose this first card, number one, oh, and of course, I put all the cards upside down, which has no significance whatsoever in, uh, in the, these cards. Self love, number 61. This uh, is a combination, I would say, of the root chakra and the sacral chakra. So this is moving from the root chakra, chakra into the sacral chakra. Root chakra is a trust, uh, trust a security, stability, moving into creativity, uh, self-esteem, and confidence. Uh, the blue uh, represents the third eye. And uh, the number 61, the best I can do for you on that one, I'm sorry folks, is to reduce this down to see if we come up with a significant number for you in your day. Six and the one. Six and the one is seven. Seven is usually a number of change, of uh, disorder, and um, trying to find uh, the right way to move into something uh, clearer. And okay, that's how we're going to define this card today. Self-love. If you chose number two, this card is 32. And this is music. And uh, this color here for the chakra represents wisdom, awareness, and power. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Actually, that's the uh, the star, uh, if we're looking at the, the yellow color. Remember, I just rolled out of bed like a couple of minutes ago. But the uh, orange uh, uh, leanings of this card are the same as the uh, num the first card, uh, the root chakra being uh, trust, uh, security, and stability, and then the uh, sickle chakra representing creativity, self-esteem, and confidence. Music, creativity, self-esteem, and confidence. Makes perfect sense. We have the 32 for our numerology element. And those of you who are uh, adept at numerology, uh, you might want to lay your meaning in over mine on this one. But uh, again, I can reduce this down to a five. And a five, again, is in a state of moving on to the next step. If you chose number three for your card, and this is domestic harmony. And this beautiful chakra here is the throat chakra, uh, communications, independence, and truth, domestic harmony. Uh, the uh, star, in this case, represents the heart chakra. And the heart chakra telling us about love, healing, and uh, empathy. And the uh, numbers here, 46, reduced to a 10. 10 is a full completion. And uh, so I think that's what we have here for these three cards. And I'm going to turn these uh, back over. And then we're going to uh, use this card as a significant contributor to the uh, diet across it we'll do with this Radiant uh, Rider Weight Tarot. I've used these cards quite a few times. And uh, so we're going to use them again. The Radiant Rider Waite Tarot are beautiful cards, as you can see. They're easy to read. 
the interpretations are straightforward and uh, you'll see that uh, the radiant part of these cards you see they almost do radiate the colors almost do radiate from uh, this brightness in the center out to and of course as liquid have it my camera stopped uh, filming as soon as I finished uh, that uh, little uh, display so we'll start over again this is for if you chose number one self-love we'll take six cards for the data cross this will be one two three four five and six okay I think we're gonna shuffle these up oh, I can't even think this morning to tell you the truth okay so the first card the signifier for this dyadic cross for self-love is going to be the seven of swords okay seven of swords has to do with uh, thief in the night these are truths these are rules these are justices and uh, regarding self uh, self-love remember don't sell yourself short be sure that you give yourself uh, all the self-love because then you're just really uh, stealing uh, those that uh, comfort those rules that justice from yourself so the signifier card is the seven of swords of self-love the challenge to that is going to be the ace of cups and the ace of cups is a big dose of uh, compassion and uh, so the challenge uh, to uh, when you have uh, denied yourself uh, all of uh, these feelings then uh, is is that you you challenge uh, this offering that we have to give to ourselves now many times we'll offer a big uh, dose of compassion to someone else or we'll expect a big dose of compassion from someone to us but let's do this let's concentrate on negating uh, these uh, this uncomfortable situation where we've uh, uh, not uh, taken care of ourselves and offer ourselves uh, a big uh, dose of understanding uh, right from our own heart the basis of this reading then is going to be the uh, five of Pentacles out in the cold when you haven't taken care of yourself You've left yourself out of the picture, and you can't take care of others. Just like when you're riding in an airplane, you put the mask on yourself, take a deep breath, and then you can help your uh, someone who's traveling with you. Okay, the recent past for this reading then is going to be the Ace of Swords, which is a great big offer of truth, great big offer of truth. So, or justice, as a matter of fact. Uh, so remember that uh, we all need to carry uh, this uh, justices and these truths forward in our life and uh, don't uh, uh, steal uh, that benefit from yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back and uh, bring yourself in from out of the cold. The sky for this reading then is swords. It's a nightmare. And uh, sometimes if we forget that uh, we have to take care of ourselves, we just set, setting ourselves up for an, a, a never ending circle of uh, uh, discontent until we uh, can kick ourselves out of it. And then the likely outcome for this, okay, we will be successful if we remember to take care of ourselves first. Take care of yourself first, self-love. That's what this is all about. Okay. So now, we'll start in on the second card. If number two is what you chose. The number two card, I've already forgotten what it is. Is going to be, ah, music. That's interesting. Let's see how music is going to um, be interpreted for us. Music, um, if we look at the... Uh, uh, the chakras then uh, this golden uh, yellow is for wisdom awareness and power 32 3 and the 5 uh, 3 and the 2 reduces to a 5 that's always some sort of a change and a getting used to so let's see what we get for this number 32 for ourselves today if you chose a card number two one two three four I need six. Yep, I'm telling you, I'm still asleep. The signifier card for you today, ah, again, is victory. I love, love, love when the cards start to repeat themselves because that just assures me that the cards uh, understand uh, uh, that I'm uh, making a reading and they come back and say okay we're with you let's let's go about this the uh, signifier card is victory victory and uh, which would be music to your ears let's see how that uh, works together 
the, the challenge to victory is um, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is bringing us a big offer of truth, of justice, of following the rules. And so if we, if we go about things in a step-by-step, um, uh, -step, follow the rules, keeping uh, the truth in mind, um, this uh, will help us get to the point of victory. The base of this reading, then, is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is having, a, uh, is having had on display all of our compassionate victories for all the world to see. This card is often described as the Greedy Merchant. The past of this reading, then, is going to be the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, he will fight for the truth. He will fight for the justice. And this knight is chat, is running in uh, to um, to bring forth his truth and his justice. It occurs to me that music represents harmony and balance and uh, working together to get things done. And so we certainly can't have a victory uh, if we don't uh, incorporate that those elements into our, uh, our situation. The um, highest... Um, in the sky, the highest goal that we can shoot for in this is the High Priestess. The High Priestess speaks to us of secrets, of knowledge, and of knowing how to um, handle our situation. So, of course, uh, the High Priestess is all important in uh, in this regard. And then the um, likely outcome for this, uh, oh, is the reversed. I really don't like reversed cards. This is the Ten of Cups. And so if this uh, cup, if this card was upright, this represents happy family, the way things are going, and the way... Um, um, and the celebration of all the um, um, blessings that we have in our life. However, this card <coughs> came out as uh, reversed. I'll just remind you that I don't like to read reverse cards. I try to make uh, be very careful that my cards don't uh, get mixed up upside down, because I'm only because I'm not confident in my interpretation of the meaning of the reverse cards. However, when they do slip in, I do my best to interpret them. So uh, this uh, card reversed. Then, if we're talking about happy family. This says to me that there's something uh, topsy turvy in our family situation, and you know your family can situ situation can be you and your pets, it can be you and the friends that you feel are closest to you, it can be you and your actual uh, family. But there's some disharmony there, and so with music we want to make sure that we bring that harmony back into the picture. And I love how these uh, tie together to make music a, an in integral component of this reading. So um, victory is available. It's challenged by truth and justice, so make sure that we have all those in line and out in the open. Um, we um, started with lots of trophies uh, that we had to, to uh, had accumulated uh, in our life. Uh, challenged by the knight who's rushing in to make sure these truths and justice were noticed. Uh, the, the sky for this reading then is the high priestess who says use your intuition. You know what you need to get this done. We have some disharmony in our family, however our personal family is defined. Um, but uh, with music, uh, and um, we can uh, bring that back into uh, the uh, line. So if you chose the second card, that's what I have for you today in that regard. Now the third card, that's what you chose, is again domestic harmony. Now that's interesting how these things start to work together. Domestic harmony. Let's see how this is going to play out for us today. Okay, we'll take six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Domestic harmony. The signifier for that is the devil. And of course, you know, what the devil says to us is don't be chained to um, lesser intentions. Okay? Um, perhaps you are already along that path and you may not even realize it. Sometimes this does happen to us. That's how the devil works. Uh, we get uh, along a path of selfishness, of, of doing things that are not for the best uh, reasons and uh, convince ourselves that they are. So let's look out for the devil as a signifier for this uh, in domestic harmony. The challenge to the devil then is a big offer of let's get something done. A wands are action, motion, uh, planning. And so if we are stuck in this rut, we can make a, a plan to divert ourselves out and to uh, go the right, I will say the right way or the more beneficial way. And then the basis of this reading is going to be strength. We do have to have strength to overcome those temptations that, um, that so often uh, sidetrack track our, our beneficial journey. The past of this reading then is the Three of Pentacles working together to... Um, to achieve uh, something uh, of value, uh, which is represented by these pinnacles, uh, that we can present to the world, our face to the world. 
And that's how um, uh, in our past. In the sky of this reading, we have the High Priestess again. I love that, that these cards uh, want to speak to us. And so the High Priestess is telling us that we have the intuition. And you know what? I'm going to cover up this devil a little bit just to let us know that this High Priestess knows what it takes. And uh, we have the secrets within ourselves to turn our um, uh, misguided journey around. And the likely outcome for this, if we can get that done, is the Six of Pentacles, which speaks to us of distributing our value uh, evenly amongst our family. So I hope these readings were helpful to you. I'm so sorry that the, this uh, didn't come out uh, on time at, uh, this morning. And, um, and I hope that you're able to draw something out of these uh, cards that helps you get through your day. Okay, so that was my quickie read for Tuesday, Three Card Oracle. Sorry it was so late, and I hope it was meaningful for, t for you. We'll see. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so ciao for now.